Thank you. I'm with iTrip Vacations, and we manage furnished short-term vacation rentals, which you hear a lot of. And uh, just a little bit about me. I was born in Phoenix, Arizona, so I'm a native. I graduated from Maryville High School on the west side, played on a state basketball championship team there and runner-up the next year. I founded, a, in 1997, I found a pizza franchise called Eats a Pizza here in the valley. Uh, and uh, we grew it to 26 locations all over, six in Utah, and two in Washington, and, and, and even some in Ohio. I sold it in 2004, and at that time I went into property management. That was the traditional property management at that time. And in March of, uh, we bought and sold, the, we sold that in 2017, January 2017. And in March of 2017, I bought a iTrip franchise for, of uh, Scottsdale and the Phoenix areas because we, my kids and I wanted something to do. My kids in 1997, my youngest was 12 and he was working in the pizza business. And so, and when we went into the property management, they went with me too, so we worked together a long time. This is my family, Rhonda and I on the left. Uh, we have five kids. I met her when, I was, when she was 12 and I was 13. We got married as soon as, soon as she graduated, from, so we were very young. In, uh, we were married 28 years. Age 46, she passed away. And uh, one month before our first grandchild was born. Cindy on the, on the right there, I met her in 2004 and we got married in 2004. She has four kids. So between us we have, we, we have nine kids and 24 grandkids. Now this isn't completely updated, but, but anyway, so, so we have our hands full. So why I trip? Why did I decide I trip? Well, when we sold the business, the kids and I were looking for something to do, we, and we wanted to stay in property management, and my non-compete allowed me to do that from the traditional way. And so we picked uh, iTrip because I could not duplicate what they were doing. I'm, I'm not a franchise guy, generally. This is a franchise and I own the franchise here. But I, I couldn't duplicate what they were doing. They're integrated with everybody all over. They have about 2,200 properties in 100 different markets, uh, internationally also. And so we decided to go with them because we thought it gave us the best chance of success and, and, and building quick. So when I started with BNI in March of 2017, right with zero properties, went from 500 to zero, because my cousin had a heart attack and we decided to sell that business that we had. And uh, so we bought this one with zero property. So when we started with, with B&I, we had zero. And so, with iTrip, since it's a franchise, like all franchisees, you're only as good as a franchisee. And so that's us, that's me and my kids. So if somebody's booking a home, or if an, an owner needs help, they're talking to one of us. We're the people that are going around to the homes. There's a lot of, lot, a lot of work goes on. You even gotta take trashes in and out and when the guests don't, make sure that they're taken out. And so uh, that's, what we, that's what we do. Uh, they had $75 million in bookings in 2018 for iTrip. They have lots of people working on digital marketing and, and all those things are associated with getting the, getting the word out to people. Uh, and a state-of-the-art conversion to booking technology. And we're integrated with everybody and I'll show you here in a minute. That's where we market to. And so this is why the we're successful and our success rate of booking our clients' homes are greater than, than most people out there because we are just all over the place. And so we do use VRBO, we use HomeAway, TripAdvisor, Airbnb, uh, FlipKey, all those areas. And, and they're integrated. So if somebody books on a calendar, it automatically uploads to everywhere. And so that's what, that's what we do. 
Okay, when I started with, in 2017 March, when I started with BNI, the first year we did $100,000 in revenue. When they say revenue, that means bookings. In 2018, we've had so far this year 887,000. Actually, it's almost 900 now wow. since since we took this shot. In 2019, this is the because this is next year. We've got we're actually over 500 now for the for next year already. So, and I think this time in 18 we're at two or three. And now we're at, at five going into the big season. January, they really start booking. And so we've, uh, we've managed to have quite a bit of success. But we're only success, our success comes from the owners that trust us with their homes to make them money. And so our ideal referrals are, and, and you hear me say it, is... Uh, a property owner who has a vacation, who's trying to do it himself, themselves. They don't have what we have, so not very many people are seeing their homes. So their chances of renting it is not is necessarily not that good. Or you, you're their Airbnb in it, and so they just do Airbnb. So we give them advantage if they go with us. Or a property owner who lives in their property only part of the time and wants to make more money, and so they're not here. We allow them to book whenever they want to come stay. Uh, or a, a property or a, a homeowner that's trying to manage it himself. Who wants to be up at midnight like I am responding to inquiries asking about is the pool heated? And, and even though you've told them in, in all the stuff, they, they don't read it, they still want to ask you. And so, uh, and a big deal is the real estate agents that work with investors that are looking to manage, man, looking for management, those are the, that was one of the biggest, the real estate, because they have access to all the people that are, that are wanting that kind of done, uh, work done. And we'll give projections to anybody that asks, you know, no matter what you'll do, and I'll tell you what, what I think it can rent for. And uh, anyway, and then we also have a referral program for the, uh, for the real estate agents. These are our BNI referrals. I just want to do a shout out to them. And this is Joni's home that she gave us. This is Jason Ferrier, who Jason has tried real, real hard to get us some, and we finally got one. This is at Tempe Townhouse Lake, right over the lake. And we just signed that up and just get it up and running. We've got Linda Nyquist, Linda Lesser Nyquist, who has actually given us two referrals. So we have two. Ken Adams, who's a property manager himself, and he actually bought this home for his client, but it was furnished, and she wanted to do short term. So, he, so they gave it to us to manage, and, and even though he does long term, but she wanted to do short term. Adrian Hart, beautiful home there. Eddie Grant has uh, referred three to us that we have, and all of his homes are very, I mean, not, actually all, all the homes rent, rent very well. So uh, again, like I said, we had zero properties, and now we're up to actually, so last year we, we did 8.8 .8 plus four, so we actually did 1.4 million since since 17 in, in bookings, because these are all going forward. But So anyway, Ken Brown also, his, uh, his, his client that he actually does, uh, does bug work for, referred, referred us, and she's actually bought, is buying a home in Colorado, and so we referred her to another uh, iTrip franchisee in Colorado. So this is us, it's not everybody, but these are the ones that are talking to owners and tenants. I have a couple doing the maintenance of, of my kids. So uh, I just wanted to say that uh, Bernie Fleming and I trip vacations where we turn lookers to bookers. Yeah.